everybody it's Patty Rockstar Mom welcome back to my channel I'm gonna do something today that I almost never do I'm gonna do an empties uh, and you're gonna see a pattern here so stay tuned I have my little brown bag let's just see what's in here rattles okay the first thing and this for most of you this will be as no surprise to me but it's my CVS all free eye makeup remover. This is the 11 ounce size. And by the way, uh, I've listed this in my top five drugstore products, I think last week. And I have emptied this one. Uh, I still have the eight ounce size that I show you, showed you. I can't always find the 11 ounce size. The only place I've ever seen the 11 ounce size in this is CVS. I've never seen it at Walmart or Walgreens. I've never seen it any place else. This is the dupe for the Neutrogena. Um, but I was in my CVS the other day and they had two of the 11 ounces for $7.99 each and I bought both of them. So anytime I can get the, the 11 ounce size of this, I'm going to get it. So it's empty. Obviously, it's something I would purchase again. The next thing is from Pixie, and it's the uh, Skin Treats the Glow Mist with propolis and argan oil. And this is like a setting spray. And I've been using this, uh, these for months, and this may be the first time I've shown it in an empties, but it is empty. One of the things I like about this, aside from the spray, is I've had really good luck with the pumps. They spray a really fine mist, so love that. You know this, I finished up a Tresemme, actually two or three of them, but I finished up the little Tresemme Extra Firm Control hairspray number four. Yes, repurchase. I have a stash of those. I also finished up, and you saw this in my drugstore, top five is the e.l.f. under eye HD definition under eye powder, I think is what it's called. These are so tiny, but I did uh, completely finish up one of those. I mean, I, well, I see just a tiny little bit back in there. I may try to get that out of there. The next thing uh, that I want to show you that I have hit pan on so big time, it's the Milani Baked Blush, and this is Luminoso. Love it. I already have a backup of this. The next thing that has been in my stash for a long time and I pulled it out, been using it. I've gotten as much out of this as I can get. It's the Stila Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. Would I buy this again? Probably not, probably not. The main reason is I'm trying to use up so much. Uh, the next thing is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I like this just fine, but I'm trying some other mascaras. I, I, I have enough mascaras that I don't need to, I'm, I'm not going to be buying any more for a while. I'm going to try to use up what I have, so, but I have used this, and it was just fine. 
I know many people swear by that mascara. The next thing again is by Milani and it's the Supreme Cold Cajul Eyeliner in black. I love this, I love this. Uh, would I repurchase this? Absolutely. However, I'm not going to right now because I have some other black eyeliners that I'm trying to use up. So when I need a new one, a new black eyeliner, I'll definitely repurchase this. And the last thing is my Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Cushion Foundation. I have gotten all of this out of here that I can get. And I mean, I've even taken the little sponge out and wiped it on my face trying to get the last little bit. Would I repurchase this? Yes, as a matter of fact, I think I have two backups of this. And the reason I have two backups of this is when I first realized how much I like this, I went to get a backup and I could not find the backup anywhere here in medium. They had all the colors but medium, so I'm, I'm supposing that medium is a very popular color in this. But when I finally did find them, I bought two more. So I do have two backups of this. I have several foundations that I truly love on my old skin, and it is old skin. This is this this being one of them. So uh, pretty soon I'm going to do a, a video just on the foundations that I'm loving right now for my skin. And the last thing that is considered an empty, I guess, or maybe I've gotten rid of, maybe some of you have noticed, I have a new chair. A new chair. The old chair's gone bye-bye. The old two of them, mine and Jim's, Jim sits across from me. Uh, we needed new chairs. Our other chairs, when we bought those chairs, we never in a million years thought that we would live in this little condominium. Uh, we knew they would strictly be for vacation and uh, for us when we come down, for our kids when they come down, and then we moved here. And many of you, I'm sure, have heard me say that Jim is Mr. Sunscreen. That's what I call him, Mr. Sunscreen. That man uses more sunscreen than any person I've ever seen in my life. He plays golf four days a week, and it's hot here. The sun's shining. He needs it. But he, he slathers, I mean, from his head to his toes. I mean, he slathers himself. Guess where he does it? In his chair, right over there, in his chair. And because of it, his chair was so stained from that sunscreen. I, I've tried cleaning it when we first bought these chairs. Uh, it well, actually it was six years ago. I when we bought them, I had them treated so that they could be washed, you know, or wiped down good and wouldn't retain. But trust me, they were bad, or his was bad. Mine had a little discoloration on it from like lotions, you know, if I'd put my hands over on my arms or something. Mine was nothing like his, so I knew if we were going to replace one, we had to replace two. Uh, I'm not going to show the sofa. Many of you have seen our sofa. It's the charcoal striped sofa. And it has all that sign those signature pillows on it. A couple of striped pillows that match the sofa, but it also has the signature that sort of went with those chairs we had. So we sat in chair when we finally decided a few weeks ago to get new chairs, we we literally hit every furniture store down here, and we I can't tell you how many chairs we sat in. And we finally found these chairs uh, that not only did we like the way they sit, uh, he loves it, he loves his. The jury is still out on mine. Uh, this chair sits a little bit higher than that other chair. It, um, I think I'm maybe just too small for it. Uh, if I sit all the way back with my back completely to the back of this chair, uh, I can't bend my knees off of the end of it. 
so I catch myself sort of leaning back in it a lot so that I can put my feet on the floor. Uh, it just sits different, so, but he really loved it and he didn't, he never really liked those other chairs. It was perfectly comfortable for me. They, they were small recliners, so they were perfectly comfortable for me, but not for him. And we never used the recliner part of it. I probably, in the six years that we had those chairs, I used the recliner maybe two or three times. He never did. He didn't like it because his feet hung off the end of it. So uh, we sat in a lot of different chairs. The, these. This chair happened to be the most comfortable, and it only came in this fabric. It was part of a, a suite. It had a sofa, and the sofa uh, was this neutral background color here. And uh, there were, it had a couple of cushions on it that were this fabric. So I brought one of the cushions home because I didn't know how it would fit on our sofa, uh, if it would go and um, brought it home, put it on the sofa, and almost immediately, every little tiny thing in this whole room that was blue just popped. I mean, it just popped. Well, I knew that the color would go. I knew the chairs would go with that striped couch, and it, they, they, it just didn't seem to clash, except for those signature pillows. <laughs> So I was able, and I've got my fingers crossed, I was able to order uh, some new pillows that match the sofa itself, the charcoal stripe. They're just loose throw pillows. They're the two, but I, I'm gonna get three more, or I've got them on order. So I will have just the striped pillows on that sofa. And I found a couple of pillows that are the solid uh, creamy color that match the sofa in this, the, the background of this. Uh, I think I saw them at Pier One. It's part of the Magnolia Homes, uh, jo Joanne Gaines from Fixer Upper. It's her line. Uh, they're real simple pillows uh, that I think would look really good on the sofa and it would sort of tie this into it without being the same fabric. Now, I will tell you that right off the bat, and it's something that Jim and I talked about, these chairs are gonna wind up with the same fate that those other chairs. They're gonna be covered in suntan lotion, uh, or sunscreen, rather, So, if we're not careful. So what I did, before I bought these, I made sure that I could order this fabric. And where we bought these chairs, it was gonna be $50 a, yard, a square yard for this fabric. And I decided I would make arm covers for these chairs. So if for no other reason, uh, we could protect the arms. And then I thought, well, you know, if I'm ordering this fabric, I might as well get fabric for the, make a couple of pillows for the couch just in case. So <clears throat> I got home and I went online. I was gonna order the fabric and I came across this very same, oh, the fabric at the furniture store, with them ordering a square yard, was $52 a square yard. 52. I don't know if I said that, but it was 52. I went online, it was fabricmill.com. They had the very same fabric. 52 inches wide, $19.99 a yard. And I'm thinking, this cannot be the same fabric. So I, I ordered a sample, you can order a sample, I ordered a sample for a dollar, and it was a strip about this long and about that wide. I got it in within just a few days. I took it back to the store because these chairs had to be ordered. I took it back to the store and made sure that it was the identical fabric, and it was. So I ordered, just to be on the safe side, six yards of this fabric at 52 inches long. So I just wanted to be safe. Wanted to be safe. Uh, you know, if something happened and Jim really did ruin this one before I did, ruined mine, uh, we could almost, we could probably have that chair covered or recovered in with six yards of fabric. I decided I'd better go ahead and get it while I could. 
especially with it being so inexpensive. So when I get everything done in here, I'll show you the end result. But of course we have that big old fish that I did that's on the wall over here and um, I don't think, I don't know if I've ever shown you, but on this wall, we have a gallery wall where the TV is. And I, I, I guess I knew that maybe there was a little bit of blue in some of the artwork, but I, I promise you, it's like the blue is just pulled out of everything that's on that wall and that fish. I mean, it was like, I guess this is the color that we were supposed to put in here because it looks good. We had that great big rattan round coffee table that just took up so much room in this room. And again, I'm not going to show it to you today, but when I, sh when I show you the whole room finished, you'll see it. But Jim, uh, his golf time changed one day, uh, was postponed to a little bit later, and he was out and about and went in this little junk store. And he called me and he said, come down, meet me down here. I want to show you something. And he had found this old, 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 old chest. And the inside of the chest looked brand new. The outside of it, you can tell it's old. It's not a reproduction. Uh, there's pieces of wood, uh, the wood framing torn off of it and exposed nails. And the, the handles on each end of it are just rusted to high heaven. So, I mean, it's very obvious it's not a reproduction, and I think we paid a hundred dollars for it, maybe a hundred and twenty-five, and it's just the perfect size, and we just like stuff that's really eclectic, and that looks cute. It, the, the coffee table down looks really, really cute in here, so Habitat for Humanity got some chairs, uh, not sure yet what I'm going to do with the coffee table. I might try to sell it. It's, it's just like new. It is just like new. Uh, so, that, uh, the chairs are not truly empties, but they've gone bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that you'll know every time I post a video. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Just be kind today, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.